Okay, so I've had this bike for a couple months now. I built it in the beginning of the summer, and now it's almost September. And I have to say, I absolutely love this build. I implemented a lot of the things I learned from my first build into this one, and I couldn't be more pleased. Things like the BMX handlebars, the fat tires, the removable 60 volt battery. But one thing that I've been meaning to upgrade is this right here, the rear shock. The stock one has essentially no travel, and for my body weight, it's way too stiff. I mean, take a look at this. Does it even move? So today we're going to rectify that. But first, let's clean off the bike a little bit. Get her nice and ready. Okay, let's go get the shock. Wait, my gloves. Nobody touch this. Let's do this. That's an e-bike. So, one of the reasons why I waited so long to do this... How do I open this? It's because suspension parts are like super expensive. The cheapest uh, name brand shock that I found is this one by RockShock, and it's still two hundred dollars. Whoa, this is bigger than I thought. So I found this brand on Amazon is only eighty six dollars, and it comes in like five different sizes. Now this, of course, is a lot bigger than the shock I currently have. I know for a fact this can hold a one sixty five millimeter eye to eye, but I decided to try one ninety because the travel here is pretty massive. It's like 55 millimeters. This is the big one. So it has a main chamber and then it has like a rebound chamber. Okay, so it's the next day. I have about 25 miles of experience road riding with this shock, and I do like it. But the ultimate test, of course, is off-roading. Man, even this gravel feels so much more smooth. Oh man, it's like nothing. I throw a toast up for that green grass. I don't mean hash, but I mean cash. Talking about the other side where they breeze past. That German import with the easy pass. No toes. Fuck change, throw it away. All gold. Silver's just second place. You live in your life at a record pace. Always trying to eat dinner off a bigger plate. Always rock a big smile when you hit happy hour. Mixed emotions from your friends when you buy the next round. They love free drinks, but they hate the envy. Little do they know that your soul is empty. You won't feel right till you cop the Bentley. Cop the best. Condo, fuck the renting. On Twitter, holla about what's trending. Block the memory of your work at Friendly's. We're like, oh. Yeah, I'll make sure to leave uh, this shock link down below. It's cheap. I mean, you know, I don't want to oversell it. It's not like amazing, but I mean, it's getting the job done. And it comes in like a bunch of different sizes. So, depending on your needs and your bike. There should be a size that fits. That guy's having almost as much fun as me. I put it down, you pick it up. 
That's what I hope for, need some more luck. I've been okay so far, but I'm stuck like I got the new couch, but I got no truck. Okay, so it's official. Pretty good shock, according to me. It passes my test. I'm a fan of it. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know what? I think I want to do a lot more uh, like builds on this channel. Testing out different gear, building more bikes, that kind of stuff. Let me know what you think of that in the comments below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it I real. I throw a toast up for that green grass. I don't mean hash, but I mean cash. Talking about the other side where they breeze past. That German import with the easy pass. No toes. Fuck change, throw it away. All gold. Silver's just second place. You living your life at a record pace. Always trying to eat dinner off a bigger plate. Always rock a big smile when you hit happy hour. Mixed emotions.